you guys almost won last year. I mean, Josh Allen slipped supposedly, right? And, oh. and that's, that slip, man, right? Couldn't keep his feet, man. I just, I, it haunted me because it, it was, to me, it was the right call. I mean, they could have settled, kicked the field goal, took it to overtime. But when you have Allen in a situation like that, I mean, you are in a spot where not many other teams have an asset like Allen to get you almost a guaranteed yard. And the fact that it went the way it did was just so like such a kick to the gut. But um, at the end of the day, it shouldn't, they should not have allowed it to get to the situation it did. They let Derrick Henry go off and it really opened up Ryan Tannehill's ability to get the play action going. And it ultimately came down to the fact that, Hey, the bills put up 31 points that should win you the game. And, and it just, you know, they, they couldn't get it done. Yep. And following the, the the other game, you said there was two games. The other game was the 42 to 16 where oh. Derrick Henry sipped on Josh Norman. I think he's still floating. <laughs> I don't know where he, he He hasn't landed yet. Yeah, he is somewhere one. in the stratosphere, man. Yeah. That was insane. <laughs> oh, my God. That's on every highlight. Every, every NFL promo on television has some iteration <laughs> of that. And for good reason. Even me, you know, as a gigantic Bills fan, I'm like – that was amazing like dude he literally sent him into another planet it was it was nuts but but you know what I, I, you know it, it seems like these two last two seasons yeah the titans have had the bills numbers but at the same mm -hmm. time you look a couple of years back the bills have won the they've been the titans a couple yep. times three times in a row and they were really ugly gritty games again both both teams trying to find you know their their footing and i think with josh allen you guys got your footing then you got Diggs, and yeah. now the teams has, has finally come together and again it's been talked about you know the season right now is you know super bowl contenders which sure. i mean what it looks like on, on the first game of the season it looked like it i mean there's nothing to harp on there's yeah. no there's no negative I mean, there's a couple of things that you could have cleaned up but it's only week one and they beat the brakes off the rams at home you got to give them credit when credit's due. So respect to you on that one. Well, hey, speaking of that first game, what's wild about uh, that game, because that was my first time ever to Nashville. Um, it was amazing. Just had the best time ever. But I'll always remember that game as it, that was Marcus Mariota's last start as a Titan, if I'm not mistaken, before that they moved before they moved off of him. And it was weird because there was a string of games that year for the Bills where mm -hmm. they had won in the following week. The starter from that game had sat. And I was interested in the fact that, you know, I had liked Mariota. In fact, mm -hmm. I liked the way he played last week. Yep. But I was I was interested to see what the move was going to be there because ever since that game, and it was 14 to 7, both the Bills and the Titans have ascended and gone in a completely different direction than I think anybody probably would have thought.